the app is doing a time lapse right now, and um, we may put a black background on the side of the box, parallel from the camera, so that we can use the new plant tracer app that we just found out about. Because I think it'll be really useful in a situation like this to see um, the uh, curve of the plant. Okay, so we'll see who wins. Gravity or light? <laughs> What we're doing with this camp in particular is we are showing the students all of the paths that they can take in science. So Pace's role in this project is to be part of the culmination of a week-long project uh, where middle school students uh, at the BioBus uh, work on something related this year to microplastics. And Pace provides the final capstone of that week where students come and work on an intensive day-long seminar modeling uh, either proteins or microplastics and relating that to all the events that they had been studying. So it was really exciting for me to see some of the younger students working on what can be considered college-level work. Specifically, we are showing them what a research scientist does. And in that, we're showing them what a research scientist looks like. We don't all look like Albert Einstein. <laughs> and one of my main goals as a scientist is just to say, hey, I'm a Latino woman who is a scientist. We exist, and you can do this too. During the event, I'm going to be facilitating, uh, introducing students to the university, uh, to the events of the day, and then I'm really going to hand it off uh, to the experts that we're having come in, work with the Plant Tracer app uh, and the Schrodinger software itself. My role with Pace and BioBus will be to walk the students through using our software and helping them to actually design the molecules and look at them on the computer. We could be eating up to a credit card's amount worth of plastic a week. One of the things that our students will be working on is looking at microplastics in our water and looking at the effect that microplastics can have on us and in plants. I asked them to design an experiment using the model organism Arabidopsis to see how several personal consumer products like Tylenol, um, facial scrubs with microplastics, how they affect the, the plant behaviors. It's so much bigger and the distance would be bigger, right? Like in your perspective, but if you moved it further away, it would be smaller. I think science is a great way to learn more about the environment, not just things that we see, but also things that are going around all around us. So whether it is the air that we breathe or the types of food that we eat, everything impacts us and impacts science. I think chemistry is very unique because it kind of specifically talks about the very basis of all life. So we can break things down onto a very molecular level and looking at them instead of like one big whole thing, you can break it down specifically into little tiny parts and see how those little tiny parts work together. Science is a way of looking at the world through a very special lens. A lens that makes everything around you deeper and more meaningful. It's also a way for students to develop skills that are going to be fundamental in their lives. So I'm thinking of critical thinking or problem solving. Middle school especially is a really crucial time for these students because when you're a middle school student, you don't narrow yourself and you don't feel the need to sort of define your one niche. At middle school in particular, I believe it's really important to show students that no matter who you are and where you've come from, you can do science. In the same way that, that art is creative, science is creative. In the same way that math can solve problems, science can solve problems. And there are ways that we can apply this to so many different things that students are interested in. This is a collaboration between an uh, undergraduate institution, Pace University, and uh, um, a corporate partner, Schrodinger, and uh, um, BioBus, which is a nonprofit. Uh, we need to build those networks to support each other and to support our mission to bring science out um, to as many students as possible. This will give students the opportunity to kind of explore different career fields, whether that be working in industry, working at a higher educational institution, or working in a nonprofit sector. 
Um, so I think having this collaboration can really open up a lot of doors, especially if students are looking to be first generation students and kind of affirm their confidence in what it is that they want to do. I say for all of us, for Pace, BioBus, and Schrodinger, what we would see as a successful program is students walking away feeling excited about science and importantly feeling like they can do science. A success for this program would be not only a continued collaboration between BioBus, uh, Pace, and Schrodinger, uh, but also uh, maybe to see other organizations might see this video and say, hey, we would like to maybe come and have our students uh, do a day-long uh, seminar at Pace. Uh, or maybe other schools will see this and be like, why can't we also do this here?